I know a lot of you have asked um, what the specifics are, what goes into that, um, how the how you pick the colors. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Are we going to win today? Or tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Looking good. It's Brittany. Um, I'm Arabella's mom and I'm also a designer. I don't know, I think you guys should know that about me, but I make pageant wear um, for lots of little girls all over the country. And right now we're in my sewing room and I'm getting ready to um, finish up little Bella's dress, um, Bella Basoko, for Cambry's Court. Um, this dress she needs to wear at UDQ, which is in like two weeks. And um, I'm finishing up her dress right now, and I know a lot of you have asked um, what the specifics are, what goes into that, um, how, the, how you pick the colors. So you kind of, you have to pick the colors based on what's best for the child. So their skin tone, their hair color, their eye color. Um, also their personality. If they're really big with their personality, they need a big bubbly color. Um, if they are more soft and elegant, maybe a more soft or elegant color, um, maybe not something quite as like bubbly. Um, so you really have to look at the skin tone and the eye color though and the hair color. Um, I would typically put little kids, little toddlers in um, lighter colors. I won't do like real dark, harsh colors. Um, and then for the little ones, I try to do pastels or um, like bright pink, bright, uh, bright blues. Um, and I really shy away from like dark blue, dark purple, dark green. Um, those are kind of more mature colors. Um, there's an old saying that winners wear white and I still believe that. I think white dresses are amazing. They don't get ordered that often because parents are worried about stains. Um, but I think white is an amazing color on most kids, especially with glitz pageants because you get a spray tan and then they look amazing in white. Um, so we picked this coral color, coral and white. There's the dress. It's um, coral and white for Bella. Cambry and Wendy um, did a photo shoot with Bella and she wore a coral topper and um, they loved it on her. So they said, let's do a coral dress and maybe some white. So that's what I made her. And um, I've made a lot of the dresses actually on Cambry's Court, Arabella's glitz dress, of course. Um, and then we're making another one for Arabella right now. Cambria and Wendy are actually doing the base shell for me um, because they had a vision for her they wanted to do. So I said, go ahead and you guys sew it and then I'll stone it um, and do the design and everything. And um, cause I trust them. And um, I've done little Taylor, little Kinsley, um, baby Ray's natural dress, um, big Riley's glitz dress, which you'll see soon. Um, it hasn't debuted on stage yet. Um, 
and I stoned Paisley's Glit Stress. Um, I've done some uh, swimwears too for Cambry and Wendy and um, some OC. So I do a lot um, for the court and I do a lot of my own personal orders too. I do about one dress a week um, and that's apart from working a part-time job um, as well. So this is my little sewing it's a hot mess <laughs> but this is where I work so my sewing machines right here and then um, here's Bella's little skirt I have on my desk right now it has a I did I did a white lace overlay and put stones all over that and then I just wanted to show you guys um, kind of how it how this works what I do um, so I was gonna do a little bit of stoning for you so you could see um, what goes into this. So here's some trims that I already have stoned that I just did for her and they're gonna go um, on the dress. This will go like this. Um, that, oops, you can't see it. That'll go up there and then um, I just dropped a trim on the ground. And then I did some trim like this um, and that trim is gonna go right here across the shoulder. And I did these really sweet little um, puff sleeves for her that um, were made of the lace, the same lace that is on the overlay on the skirt. Um, and so now here's some trim right here that I've already stoned a lot of the little stones. Um, so I'm gonna set this out and then you guys can watch me stone a little bit. <laughs> Let me bend this. Hopefully you can see that. So. Um, my sewing desk is always a mess, always. But it's, I know exactly where everything is at. <laughs> so I don't like cleaning things up if I don't have to um, because I literally know where everything is at on my desk, even though it's a mess. Um, I have lots of space and um, I use all that space. So right now I'm putting some glue down at the top of the applique that I've already set up for some big uh, teardrop AB crystals. Um, these will kind of be an accent point. So now here I am just putting glue down. I use E6000. It's horrible for you. Um, I usually wear a painter's mask, which is super cute. I should see if it's on my desk somewhere. <laughs> and I can show you guys how cute I look with my big old mask on. Um, oh, here it is. So I usually wear this really cute mask super cute um, so <laughs> I usually wear that mask so that um, I don't inhale too many of the fumes because e6000 is really bad for you and I work with this stuff literally every single day um, I do work every day I love working though I really do love my job um, so I use it's like this tacky putty on the end of a stick and I have my glue down and then I take my crystal and I pick it up and then I just set it down and then there's a little bit of gap on the lace so I'm gonna fill it in with another little uh, rhinestone so let me do a few more and then I'll show you guys what it looks like like that, like that. I have all these little trays everywhere to, that I stone with um, cause I put all the different types of stones on all these little trays and they work wonderfully. Sometimes I have to play what I call thousand stone pickup, um, where I drop a tray on the ground and then I have to pick up like all the stones. <laughs> Sometimes I just vacuum them up because it's just not worth it, um, to pick them up. I mean, I know it's a couple bucks, but it's not worth my time sometimes to spend 20 minutes picking up stones, um, that are just small and maybe not as valuable. The big stones for sure I pick up. So what I did is I put these um, teardrops right here at the top of the trim. So now um, that's kind of like an accent. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I'm gonna fill in this white part right here with some little teardrops. Gotta get my, um, gotta get organized here. I'm looking for an extra tray. So here's a little tray and then I'll get, I'll 
I'll take a scoop of these little um, teardrops that I'm gonna use. So they're gonna go on the top of this dress or on the top of this white trim. I'm not quite sure if they're gonna fit perfectly like I want them to on the bottom. So I'll probably just do the top for now and hope that um, they fit on the bottom part of the trim as well, not just the top. But I won't know until I do it, so. I mean, sometimes I'll lay the stones out on the dress without glue down um, to see how it work, how it looks. Um, like kind of do a, not a sketch, but I'll lay down stones without glue and then see if it fits the pattern, if it fits the lace. But really, I just kind of eyeball it and go for it. Um, <clears throat> when you do it as much as I do, which is every single day because I love it and I love my job, I find it therapeutic. Um, when, you, when you do it as often as I do, you just kind of get the hang of it and it becomes... Um, I don't know, it just becomes like second nature, I guess, kind of like how it is with Cambry and coming up with routines, how she's so creative and comes up with um, all new routines for her kids, no matter what their um, skill or need is, she's able to come up with something perfect for every student and it's different and it's unique. Um, it's the same for me with dresses. I'm able to just look at a, a dress and it, it helps if I know the child too. Like I know little Bella, she's real petite and she's real, um, I would say she's kind of like, she's not um, like huge and over the top in personality. So we gotta be really careful about not overwhelming her with this massively blingy dress. She's like definitely more petite and um, it's beautiful. And so we wanna accent how cute and sweet she is. And so we got to do a dress that's um, maybe not quite as over the top blingy as um, some other kids. Like specifically, Arabella has a massive personality that sometimes we have to tone down. And so, um, but she has a very glitzy and over the top dress. So you can see I just put in um, all this, all these little pear shapes right here. And then um, what I'll do next is I will put, I have trim right here. So I'll put the trims up here, sorry. I'll put the trims up here and then I'll probably stone this and then I'm gonna fill in with stones all over this bodice like I did with the sleeves. So it's um, so it's blingy. I mean, it do, it is a mega glitz dress so it needs to be blingy. And then um, I'll do these bows. This trim you just saw me stoning will go along this bottom hem right here. And then um, there was some orange flower trim I'm gonna put here. And then what I didn't show you guys is I have all these um, all these roses, oops, all these roses that I stoned um, that are gonna go kind of like maybe right here and maybe up here. And um, I'll just kind of play with the design and then come up with something that's perfect. And um, I will test, I'll weigh it against it and see if that looks good. And I'm like a type A personality. Um, so I'm definitely picky in particular about where I place things, how I place them, if there's a pattern, if the pattern flows, if it complements the dress style, if it complements the child. Um, those are all things I take into account when I'm stoning a dress. Um, when I'm making something for Arabella, especially, um, it takes me usually a week to make a mega glitz dress for any other child. But when I'm stoning for Arabella, it takes me three weeks because I will agonize over the placement of every single stone. Oh no, if it's correct, if it's right, like do I like this, do I not like this, should I try something else? I It's really bad. Um, but thankfully I don't have to make them for her that often because she, she's been able to wear her dress, her mega glitz dress that you guys have seen her wear. It's um, bright pink. She's been wearing that for over a year and a half. I made it in September. Um, a year and a half ago. So, and she's just now getting a new one. And not because it didn't fit, but because we just want a different style for her now. Um, so this is, I mean, I don't, I'm scared to show you guys my sewing room. This is, um, I have this filing cabinet here. This is filled, all filled with roses. <laughs> this is my collection of like roses. Um, I have a little collection up top here of like dyed trims and stuff that have, are just leftovers. Those work great for, um, for making toppers and bubble wrap for wrapping the dresses. And then if this will even shut, this is filled, this drawer right here, 
I'm having a hard time prying open is filled with be, uh, with lace. So this is all really expensive beaded laces. Um, there's, let me see if I can pry it out. This lace, nope, not that. Um, this lay, this blue lace that I'm trying to get to, this blue lace is on Riley Neville's new Mega Glitz dress and this stuff is $75 a yard. Um, and there's like this white beaded lace right here. It's really pretty for appliques. This will be, um, it's like 60 or something a yard and I need two yards for every dress. And then I have a whole nother drawer full of, um, like ruffled trims. Um, I actually have some more on my desk that I need to get put in there. So this is all for like necklines and um, that. I'm not super organized, I hate to admit it. Um, because I do wrap them all up and, um, and then I just make a mess when I'm looking for something. <laughs> and then back here is my window. I have my ribbons, I have more ribbons. Um, I have some of Arabella's hair pieces on the counter here. And then I have just this massive pile of stones. Um, this is my little drawer. This, These are all pulled out right now that I'm using, but this organizes all my crystals. Most of them, not all of them. Um, I have still, see I have a bunch all over the counter. Um, and I have this big old thing right here filled with pearls. And, um, and then this is all trims up here that I use for, like, I don't know, swimsuits mainly, but I used that those appliques right here on Bella's dress. So, and then I have this giant drawer right here of lace um, trims. And these are a little bit more organized. They're wrapped up in like the group that they're in. Um, so that's kind of my sewing room and what I do. This is my, um, you can also see I have posters and crowns and stuff in here. Um, there's Arabella's crown collection, um, which you guys have already seen, but, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's what it is, but this is where the magic happens. And then this is, um, I'm embarrassed to show you, this is Arabella's closet, pageant closet. And, um, it's all her pageant clothes. I mean, I think I have like one jacket hanging up in there that's mine, but the rest of it is all pageant clothes and pageant shoes and it's packed and there's more on the floor um, and in the drawers. So that's my sewing room. Um, thanks for watching, bye. And I wish I could find Carrie. Where is she? This camp is fun. We need a 